Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I have a quick and easy Hot Topic haul for ya. All of these items are currently in stock at the Hot Topic stores as well as online. Some of them might sell out by the time that I edit this video, but if they are still in stock, I will put the links down below in the description. I'm also going to give you pricing for each of these items so you know how much the MSRP is, just in case you find these at your local store or you don't find them online and you have to purchase through a reseller. That way you can get the best deal. So without any further ado, I wanted to go ahead and start with the bucket hat. This is the bucket hat that everybody was looking for about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. It's been a little bit of time since time of recording. <laughs> what do you think of the bucket hat? I think the brim is a perfect shape and it's the perfect size for a brim to keep you out of the sunlight during the summer months. However, the actual circumference of the bucket hat is a little bit small for my larger head. I do have a very round skull. So whenever I wear bucket hats like this, I do prefer that they have elastic or they have an adjustment on the inside so that I'm able to fit it to my head a little bit more comfortably. This one kind of has to sit on top of my head. I can't really push it down too much without there being a little bit of pressure on my head. Also, I have very, very thick hair. My hair is thick and coarse and it's it's a freaking mane. So, so anytime I wear hats, I really have to pay attention to that so that I don't end up getting a headache. So this hat just came out. It's 1990. It was very hard to find online. However, people are finding these in their stores. I do really like the print on here with the moon sticks and the inner Sailor Senshi symbols and the cute little stars. And I also like the color a lot. On the inside, there is a Toei Animation logo and a Sailor Moon logo on the little inside the little flag. And that's what the tag looks like for this Sailor Moon hat. Okay, moving on, I also grabbed a couple of different little pouches. I figured I could use these since I'm going to be traveling again pretty soon. Okay, this first pouch is pretty simple. It does feature cute little ears on the top. These are made out of a plastic feeling material. So we have a couple of ears on the top. It's supposed to look like Luna. We have the English Sailor Moon logo on the back. We have a very similar logo tag as the hat. This one just says cosmetic bag instead. And then we also have this crescent moon on the front. You'll notice that the front side of this is transparent, which is super useful if you do want to use this when you're traveling. Oh, and by the way, the price of this is $12.90 before any coupons or discounts. This one also costs $12.90 and it's practically the same size as the first cosmetic pouch. So not much of a difference there. This one's also considered and sold as a cosmetic bag. This print is a little bit more detailed. So we have a bunch of floral, we have some crescent moons, and then we have some images of Luna. And these go all the way around to the back. So you have the same print on the front and the back, and it's transparent all the way around as well. I think these are pretty nicely made. I feel like they would work out pretty well if you wanna use these as a travel bag. So it's something I'll definitely consider when I am packing for my beach trip next month. All right, I just have two other items from this haul. Uh, Hot Topic does have some really cool inventory right now. They have a t-shirt shirt that I want. I've considered and kind of debated getting a new backpack from Hot Topic as well that has a very similar print to the bucket hat, but I think I'm going to skip it because I have some better bags from Samantha Vega and Loungefly, so I think I'm going to skip that one and save the money. One thing I do like to purchase all the time is kitchenware, and this is no different. So the MSRP for this is $18.90. This is a ramen bowl with chopsticks. It's 14 ounces. It says you have to do hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave. And this was manufactured by Just Funky. I like Just Funky. They are coming out with a lot of really, really nice merchandise and things that I can use as an adult, which I really appreciate. So. I had to get this ramen bowl. I really like anything with Luna on it, and I love the astronomy print that's going on with her silhouette. She's got the little crescent moon on the front, which is great. It looks really good. It's a nice matte texture for her image, so it's not super shiny. I love this gold tone we have at the top. And if I turn it around, we also have the senshi symbols as well as the crescent moon on the back. Now, just like with previous ramen bowls that I've purchased from Hot Topic and from Just Funky, this one also has a little hole 
for your chopsticks right there. And it also has a little inset right there so you can lay your chopsticks properly whenever you are actually using them. So if you fill this up with ramen, make sure not to fill it up all the way to the top or you have ramen coming out of the hole. Here's the bottom of it, so not too much there. That's pretty average for what we see for these ramen bowls and a lot of the a lot of the different kitchen wear that we get from Hot Topic and Box Lunch. But this is cute. I'm very happy that I got it. I love it. That's adorable. Cool. And I'm also happy that my chopsticks didn't break. Last time I got a ramen bowl from Hot Topic, my chopsticks were broken. They arrived broken. So I'm glad that these are not broken. All right, and last but definitely, definitely not least are these beautiful sweatpants, which I love. They are in men's sizes, so I got a small. Yes, I ordered a size small. I will put the price down below because I've already been wearing these and I already washed them because I wanted to find out if they shrunk and I wanted to let you know any additional information you might wanna know about these. So these are the sweatpants. On one side, it says Usagi. Oh, it has her full name. It says Skino Usagi down there in a bright yellow with a crescent moon at the top. And the other pant leg has a print of Usagi from Sailor Moon Crystal in Sailor Moon Eternal. And she's got her nice little compact right there. It's very, very detailed. I already washed it and the print has not come off. It hasn't started wrinkling. It hasn't torn. So it looks really good so far. These did shrink a slight bit, but that was okay because I could have gone with an extra small with these. I usually wear a women's medium in pants, um, like a four or a six. So in these, I probably could have sized down if I didn't dry them in the dryer and they would be fine. I am glad that I got the size small though. So I did give myself a little bit of wiggle room so that I could dry these. They do have a drawstring up the top and you also have pockets on both sides. I love pockets. There's also one butt pocket. One, right there. So I can carry around my cell phone, which is nice. These also feature the elastic bottom for your footsies. So you can put your footsies through and they won't move. These are really, really comfortable sweatpants. I'm definitely happy with them. They're not soft and like fleeced on the inside, but they are thick. They're quite thick sweatpants. So if it's in the middle of summertime, like it is right now here in Colorado, you might not want to wear them outside, but these are really nice for lounging around in. So that is everything from my Hot Topic haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about these products or if there's anything from Hot Topic or Box Lunch or any of the American merchandise companies that you want me to check out, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can order those items for a review. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and it is so much fun to share my passion with you. I will see you next time. Jane.